Hi guys, uh, those who are not subscribed my MacTech 360 channel, uh, please subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, please like and share your friends and colleagues also. Um, it will helpful to your juniors and friends also. So you have to share means they will also get some knowledge, uh, freshers, juniors and all. Okay. Today I will discuss about uh, how to uh, inspect the material receiving inspection for structural materials. The mainly different types of structural materials are there, uh, that I will uh, list out that one. Okay. Then uh, the main documents, what are the documents we have to review if we are going to the material receiving inspection. And then what are the, as a QC inspector, what are the instruments, the inspection tools you should have and how to inspect the materials and what are the findings you will get during the inspection time that are all will be discussed with this video go through these are the structural materials such as hatch beam i beam channel flat bar t shapes plates and l angles are all come under the structural materials tubular also will come under the structural materials and the instruments we are use will be vernier caliper and measuring tapes that we will use the documents which are would be very important will be first delivery note or uh, purchase order then uh, ITP inspection test plan we are using for this metal receiving inspection and the metal receiving uh, report what is the client uh, rec uh, format that would be a report will be there that you have to attach uh, then MTC material test certificate that is very important and which standard this is the ASTM standard uh, which standard you are following this material we have to check the chemical composition then the material uh, mechanical properties and all we have to review with this standard so these are the documents keep within hand for uh, during the inspection of this material you have to check the thickness of the flange of the hatch beam and all we have to check like this we have to check the thickness and all uh, then we have to check the dimensions of the beam and plate also what is the weight and what is the length it will all will be have to check and if any mechanical damages are there that also will have to ensure that one we have to point it out this is the uh, traceability this one the data's uh, traceability sticker is there this one we have to check with this uh, MTC material test certificate what is the heat number given standard everything will be uh, match with the MTC that will that, that should be match otherwise it will be rejected then this is the segre segregation of this uh, hatch beam segregation of metal is very very important we have to segregate the material in separate way and we have to preserve in correct manner that should be important finally uh, after the completion of the inspection if the material anything will be rejected means you have to uh, tell the material supervisor or anything super construction guys uh, that material should be kept in quarantine area there's a project quarantine area will be there we have to separate that material in this quarantine area then mechanical damage anything else we have to raise violation also okay uh, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you.